Our first stop was the legendary Aswan High Dam. Standing on the top of it, you feel small. The Aswan High Dam stands as a massive barrier of concrete and ambition stretching over 3 kilometers. Designed to control the powerful flow of the Nile, it reshaped the landscape and changed the course of history. The story of this dam is as grand as it is controversial. Built in the 1960s with the help from the Soviet Union, it was meant to bring power, irrigation and flood control to Egypt. And it did. But it also brought sacrifices. Thousands of Nubian families were displaced when Lake Nasser swallowed their ancestral land. And today, the challenges continue. So I'm standing here on the high dam or the dam on the River Nile, which is the third largest in the world, built in the 60s and 70s by the Egyptian president Nasser. That's why the lake over here is called Nasser Lake. The dam changed the ecosystem. Farmland that once thrived on natural flooding now needs artificial fertilizers. Fish population have shifted. And beyond Egypt's border, the control of Nile water has sparked tension with Sudan and Ethiopia. As Ethiopia builds the Grand Renaissance Dam upstream, the politics of the Nile grow more complicated. Who controls the river? Who gets to decide its future? Standing here, you realize that the Nile is more than a river. It's a lifeline, a force, and sometimes a reason for conflict.